Hey guys, I'm JD Ross. On my last Spider-Man tutorial, I taught you how to install Spider-Man Remastered using Lutris. But a lot of people are asking me how I set up the game on Steam. So for this video, I'm going to use Spider-Man Miles Morales to do that. This tutorial will apply on both games, so if you want to use this for Spider-Man Remastered, that's totally fine. It works just the same. We're going to use Dodi Repack. I'm going to install it using the Steam Deck. If you have a PC, I suggest that you install it on your PC and then transfer the files to the Steam Deck using a hard drive or a solid state drive. Do not use FTP. Using FTP might cause your files to get corrupted and you might end up troubleshooting for hours just to find out that your files has been corrupted by your FTP. Okay, let's begin. We will name the game differently so we don't get confused with this one, which is my own copy of the game. For your installer, make sure that it's already on your Steam Deck. Although you could also install it from your external hard drive, I would highly recommend installing the game from within the Steam Deck because installing from an external hard drive could sometimes cause the installer to stall. Go to your files, downloads or wherever your installer is. This one. Right click on setup.exe and click add to Steam. If you happen to have both of these, just click the one with the blue Steam icon. Scroll down and find the setup.exe. There we go. Click here. Properties. Compatibility. And change this to Proton Experimental for now. Now before we click play, we will have some extra steps for people who install games on their micro SD card. If you want to install the game on your SSD, you can skip this part. But if you want to install it on your micro SD card, let's proceed. Go on your files, scroll down, primary, click here on the top, copy that, go back to Steam, properties, on the launch options, type Steam underscore compat underscore mounts equals quotes paste quotes space percent sign command percent sign and then close this now the installer should now see your micro sd card click play install proceed and then uncheck these three you can't leave this as is, you have to change that depending on where you want to install. If you want to install it on your micro SD card, you're gonna have to click either E or D. It usually is on E. Okay, I'm wrong on that one. Let's try D. Oh, there we go. It's my games folder on my micro SD card. I'm gonna show you. That's the one. If you want to install the game there, click OK. But if you want to install it on your SSD, it's different. Let's say you go to home and you make a games folder on your home. How do you access that? Just uh, switch back to the installer. Click here. Go to Z. Home. Tech. And that's your home. There's my games folder. But for this video, I'm going to install it on my micro SD card. Click next. And then check whatever you want to install. In my case, I want to install the English language and the soundtrack. By the way, while installing a game, make sure that your Steam Deck is plugged in. And then click on battery. And then make sure that this is clicked. Depending on your SteamOS version, it might say different, but it's always going to be placed right here. This will prevent the Steam Deck from sleeping while you are installing a game. Okay, the installation is done, and it took 17 minutes. Click finish, and we're now going to add the game to Steam. This is normal behavior, where Dodi Repacks will open your browser to open the Dodi website. Let's find the game. Let's add this to Steam. And it should now be here. By the way, you could now remove this. 
and let's find miles.morales.exe. This one. For the next step, you're going to need ProtonApp Qt. You can download it from the Discover Store. Click here and then make sure that Steam is selected. Add version. On GProton, select the latest version. At this moment, the latest version is 41. And then click install. But I have that already installed, so I will just cancel. And close. After that, you have to exit Steam. And then start Steam again. After that, click here. Properties. Compatibility. And select whatever version of GProton you just installed. Go back here and shortcut. And then on the launch options, type dxvk underscore async equals 1. If everything disappears just like what happened here, that's a bug. Just close it and then restart Steam. There we go, they're back. If we play this now, controls will not work. So we're gonna have to fix controls first. Click on big picture mode. Let's look for the game. Is it this one? Nope. Okay, that's the one. Click Manic Shortcut. Go to Controller Options. Change this to Forced Off. Let's go exit this. Okay, we're now ready to play. When you hit play in this game, it will open. As you see, the game is working now. Controls are working as well. But if you press the Steam button and you see two Miles Morales here on the top, that means your copy of Miles Morales has a Steam app ID text file. And make sure to delete that. It seems that Dodi Repacks removed that file to avoid that. As you see, the game is quite laggy here. And I have a recommended setting for this. And that is for another video which is linked on the description. If you have questions, just comment it down below. You can also join us on Discord, link in the description. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.